In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to keyframe a mask in order to focus on the action in your video. We're going to show you a clip where I've applied that to two separate action videos, and then we'll show you a bit about using the keyframe techniques with a mask to achieve this technique. I've taken my video and placed it on track number one, and as I watch it, I see the action moves from left to right and a little bit from top to bottom. So we're going to use a mask in this particular situation. So what I'd like to do is click on the video in track number one, and then click on the Tools button above the timeline. I'm going to choose my Mask Designer option. I could use almost any of the masks I find here or create my own. For simplicity's sake, I'm going to move up and use my second option on the left, which is one of the newer masks available in PowerDirector. I'm going to double click on it to launch the mask and now it applies it on this angle to my video. I want to rotate it first of all by holding on to the green ball and rotating the mouse because I know the action is from upper left to lower right. And if I drag on the bottom slide here, it will help me focus on the area that I want to use. I'm going to focus on the rubber raft and the men in the raft. I'm going to take my feather radius value on the left side. It's set at zero. I'm going to feather it out a little bit more. And so it's a little more fuzzy. 10 sounds pretty good. And then we're going to do some keyframing. I'm going to set an initial position keyframe by clicking on the diamond and a scale keyframe to start with. Then we're going to move the playhead a little bit down and make sure that the mask matches the action that we see here. I think I'll move it down just a little bit here. We'll move it some more. And as the wrap comes closer to the camera, we're going to have to widen the mask. I can click a diamond on position or scale anytime to set a keyframe for reference if I want to. Let's see, we'll keep focusing on the men. I'll move it to the right. I think I need to widen it a bit, so we'll take this and we'll click on the ball at the bottom. We'll widen it and move it slightly up. We want to make sure we don't lose position on the men's heads. And again, we'll moderate, move it up just a bit here getting a little closer to the camera. And so we just continue this process as we move through the video, checking it every few frames. And here we'll slide it down. And now we need to enlarge it a bit because they're closer. I'm not doing it as carefully as I would if this weren't a tutorial, but you get to see a little bit of how we're adjusting the mask. We can actually also change the angle of the mask, the rotation value if we want to. It looks pretty good there. I'll just set a keyframe and we'll move over a bit farther and slide her down. And again, now they're lost in the waves. That looks pretty good. And here we're going to move it up a bit, widen it even more. And so you see how we can accomplish that task. Uh, in this case, I think I'm going to narrow it a bit. And then slide back. So it's just a bit of keyframing adjustment on the two values here. I'm only using the values of 
position and scale to accomplish this in this particular example. And so I'll click on OK when I'm done and let's play it this particular one and you can see we have focused on the action I think I changed the angle a little bit if I were to do it again but it's not too bad it's pretty even with the river but you notice again the mask changes and you don't really notice the change because you're focusing on the action but it's a cool way to focus on action by adjusting a mask in CyberLink PowerDirector